In this tutorial, we will use Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services to populate a data warehouse dimension table. For a simple example, we will load data from a single source table into a single data warehouse table. In Microsoft Visual Studio, we will click File to begin. And then we will select New. And then Project. From Business Intelligence Integration Services Projects on the left, we select Integration Services Project. We enter a unique name for our project. Please note, it is very important that you save your work to the University Network Drive. Work saved within VMware View will be deleted when you end your session. We click OK to continue. If not already visible, we access the SQL Server Integration Services Toolbox. From the toolbox, we drag a data flow task into our workspace within the Control Flow tab. Since this task will populate a dimension table, we will call it ETL for Product Dimension. We will now select the Data Flow tab to define the underlying details for this high-level task. This drop-down shows the underlying details for each Data Flow task. For now, we have only one Data Flow task called ETL for Product Dimension. Once again, we select our SQL Server Integration Services Toolbox. We will close Common Tools to reveal other tool categories. We select the OLE Database Source Object and drag it into our workspace. We will name this data source Product Table Source. We double click the database icon in order to point this object to our source data. In order to create a connection to our source data, we click New. And then we click New again. In this dialog box, we specify the name of the remote data server that contains our source data. The exact server name is included in the same folder as your data warehouse project lab assignment. We select Use SQL Server Authentication. We enter our username and password to access the remote server. Important, before continuing, be sure to select Save My Password. We click Test Connection. If the connection is successful, we click OK. We click this drop-down to reveal available source databases. We select AdventureWorks LT as the source database. Once again, we test the connection. If the connection is successful, we click OK. We click OK. And we click OK again. Finally, we click on this drop-down and select the Product Source table. If we click the Preview button, we will see a small sample of the source data. Here is a sample of some of the data contained in the Product Source table. When we have finished viewing the source data, we click the Close button. We click OK to save our configuration. 
We now have an object in Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services that connects to the source data in the product table. 